animated film happened to be this genre which can combine all my interests. Combines art and fine art and graphic painting. When I was discovering animated film for myself, I was uh, practicing contemporary dance. Dance brought this factor of time, brought rhythm, brought movement. It's the key to a very intimate uh, relation with the audience. We all have bodies. If you create a movement which feels um, sensual, visceral, it communicates on a very intimate, personal level. I think it's really beautiful. <laughs> I'm Marta Payek. I am the director of Impossible Figures and Other Stories, the animated film triptych. This concept of this impossible figure, this idea of a figure which can be drawn but it cannot be built, looking at such a figure is frustrating. Being in a situation where you are looking for a solution, for something simple, for something that should work, But the more you go, the more paradoxes you find. So I wanted to tell three stories which would tell about such situations. I felt that I would like to tell a story that would go beyond the short uh, film format, but in a longer format, uh, it's simply too tiring. <laughs> In a short film format, it's, it's still, let's say, bearable. <laughs> Much of my inspiration was, uh, for example, coming from Soviet and uh, Nazi sculpture or representation of the body, of the fit, muscular body. Monuments, the social realist monuments. When part one was made, we were in a different world that we are living now, at least in my part of the world. <laughs> I guess it's going cyclically everywhere, all the time. The fear of what will happen and where we're heading, a general feeling uh, of helplessness, of frustration, things in the world going in a very a bad direction. History repeating and the powerlessness of an individual. We don't have that much influence to change everything, but we can take a different point of view. The old woman in the end. There's not much she can do, yet she does, she, she sings. That was important for me to finish this film, which is a rather uh, dark vision with her gesture, doing what she can. The minimalist style was uh, a result of wanting to leave a lot of space for the audience to fill the blanks. If it's just a line, it can be a horizon, it can be um, a thread, it can be uh, many, many, many things. The way I think about structuring, writing a story is I think about it like a vessel. I'm constructing the structure, this vessel. When the film is shown in a cinema, um, the audience, they fill it with their own experience, with their sensitivity. So that's the moment when actually the film is made. Making a film in a way, is this kind of exploration, this kind of journey, a way of coming to terms with things that are bigger than me <laughs> and working through them. I hope that for the audience, it also has this kind of effect, like a journey, like exploring something and experiencing, coming to terms with the fact that we cannot understand something or we cannot change something.